Today, I'm joined by the man who many consider as the best player in Trackmania at the moment. He won the last World Championship back in 2016, and this year seems to be another strong year, winning Trackmania Pro League Season 2 as well as Gamers Assembly. And not too long ago, he also joined a new organization in Gamers Origin. So there's a lot to talk about. Pack, for people who are new to the scene or might not know you, can you give us a short introduction about who you are and what you do in the scene? Oh, hi guys, my, my name's Thomas Cole, uh, British of course, um, most consider me the guy to beat Carl Jr. and I'm obviously the reigning world champion and a you know, regular online player in the game. Yeah, and there's many topics to talk with you about, but I want to uh, talk about a recent event or a current event rather in the Chuckmania Masters Team Cup. We only have the grand finals left to be played. And you are facing in the, or you are in a team of mixed team facing venture. If you could, can you first tell us how did you end up being in mixed team? Uh, basically, um, we decided to not do a team with team expert. This was me and spam. And then we wanted to know who we could play with. So at that point I wasn't with gamers origin. And then I've always wanted to be in team competitions with Carl because we see each other as like, we're like best friends in the game and best friends out of the game. So we just always want to be in the same team. Likewise with uh, Spam. So then we just needed the extra players when obviously got Bren, Coco and Roa, Serbi, Royal. I mean, it's it's a team of players which aren't like fully in, well, weren't in fully organizations then. And then we just thought we'd put ourselves together to build this ultimate lineup of people. Yeah, it's sort of like the group of uh, players that are left from Team Expert, also Coco, as you mentioned. Yeah. Uh, and personally, I like to watch or enjoy watching close matches. And the first stage of the Jackmania Masters Team Cup doesn't bring too many close matches. We see a lot of 3-0 matches. But now yeah. that the playoffs has been going on and there's only one match left, if you can tell us how far this tournament has gone for you, have you felt that the matches have been challenging or has each and every match been sort of like a walkover for you? Well, I mean, of course, at the start of a competition, I mean, every match is going to be... Like, it's always mixed match teams where the big, big players play against the small players and the upcoming teams and things like that. So the first ones aren't too difficult. There wasn't too much training involved for all of us, but, I mean, that's just the normal way. Uh, getting into the playoffs, our team captain, Carl, kind of wanted us to step up a bit, take it a bit more seriously. And, uh, well, we did. We started to take it more serious and getting into the quarters, I think, against G6, maybe. Uh, no, last eight against uh, G6. The, that was when we decided to fully step up because we realized they were going to be a challenge. I think that was my, for me, the hardest match so far. Because I knew Magorian is he's very quick, and that's that's definitely a tough person to beat. Uh, but otherwise, for me, every match I like the tracks, and they've they've all gone well for me. And the team, personally, I think we're we're just really good together. So I'm hoping in the final against Venture that it goes to best of five, and it's not like a walkover for any, either of the teams. And well, we've put a lot of effort into it, so. I mean, I've got a bit more training to do this weekend, so to keep up with Carl. So, we'll see how that goes. <laughs> but, but as a player like yourself, who was uh, arguably the best player at the moment, do you get motivated for playing against sort of like weaker teams or less experienced teams, or do you have a hard time motivating to actually train a match before a match? Um, ah, that's that's a tough question. <laughs> you, don't, you don't want to be too BM about it, but yeah, but it's the truth, right? It doesn't. I mean, personally, it takes me half an hour to do within like 0.2 of a world record. So it's, it's, it, it doesn't take long. So I'm not going to spend all week on a match where, I don't know, you can consider a team less as, but like, I'm going to play as good as I can in this time that I have. So I'm going to, I'm going to get a good time on the track and then I'm going to play consistently near that PB every round. Because I could, like, I haven't learned the map properly yet. So, I mean, that's my aim against the the weaker teams. And then when it comes to the good teams, I just want to, you know, be near my best and just be able to put out the times in order to beat players which are 
like good at time attack. Yeah. And let's talk about the grand final that is taking place this Sunday against Team Venture, a team that placed second in the ESL CPS and has looked kind of strong this event. How do you see the grand final playing out and how do you uh, prepare for such a match? Um, grand final, uh, I think first map is going to be close. I do. I, I, that, that's going to be a close one. And then from then on, it depends on the map pool. So whoever whoever wins the first one gets to ban the ban first on the second on like for the second map. And then the 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 team who loses gets to pick their first map. I mean, it's it's all going to be. I think it's going to be tight. Uh, preparing for this one, literally just try and get as many world records as I can. I mean, that's 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 <laughs> what I go for. Me, me and Carl sort of like we train at the same time and we pinpoint certain tracks that we want to get the records on. I.e., there's a map pool of nine. We want me and him want to have nine, basically. Oof. So that's what we kind of go for to kind of you know it's to scare the other team. Like you're playing against, I don't know. Like I guess you can see oh the reputation of me and Carl. You you want to scare the other team into thinking you know they can't win. So <laughs> that's the thoughts behind it. Yeah, I'm a big fan of UFC, and we have this guy called Conor McGregor. He's talked about he kills the the mental game before the match even starts. Is that also your thought process in this? Like, you're going to win the match before it even starts? Well, my thought process behind it is, like, if I have a fast time on a track, I know I can play it well. Like, if I'm not... If I don't... If I don't have a good time on the track, then I feel slightly weaker. So it's all about my own mental game so if i know i have a good time on a track then i know i can pull out the times i need and i know i can pull out the consistency in order to stay at the top uh the, the rounds because uh in the performance of the year one of your matches the grand final of uh, the access team cup was voted or nominated i believe oh yeah do you think that this match will be like equally strong for you and do you see any other than Carl Jr. challenging you in the rounds? Uh, yeah, I see other people challenging me. Who? Personally, the people I think will challenge would be Wag, Zykos, Dutchy, and Serbi. So, like, I think it's going to be, like, for winning rounds, it's going to be tight. Uh, I know I haven't mentioned Spam, but, you know, everyone knows that he's not the, the guy that wins the rounds. He's the guy that... You know, he's always there. So that's what we hope for from from him. And yeah, that's the the, well, the main people that are going to challenge me, challenge the team in the uh, in the grand final. Are definitely Zykos, Dutchie, and Wag for sure. Yeah, for sure. Uh, any prediction before we move on to the next event? How is this grand final going to play out? Who is going to win it? And how is your performance going to be? Well, obviously, I want mixed teams to win. <laughs> uh, I, the ideal win would be like tennis mode every match, no, tennis mode every map, and it going obviously well three nil would be great. But I I want to see I want to see a a, fight, a best of five in the grand final, really really putting it out, and I hope I top frag or get second to Carl in every map. I mean that's the idea, you know. <laughs> I want to do the best, so yeah. aim for the best. A potential match of the year here, as well as the performance of the year by you, or ah, we'll see. No, I don't <laughs> think it will be, but we'll see. Yeah, another upcoming event is the Trackmania Pro League season three. We have the qualifiers coming up pretty soon. Uh, before we start previewing season three, could you tell us how you felt about season two? Did you expect winning it and beating Carl Junior? Uh, did I expect it? No. Did I want it? Obviously. I mean, that's <laughs> just the goal of every single time you do a competition against him but to be honest I would have liked to have not lost to another person during the entire time like I lost to Troll that was a terrible match and I lost to Massa in the playoffs so it didn't really feel like it wasn't like my cleanest season uh, I lost to Carl two times during the uh no, three times during the entire league. Each time we were both finalist. Oh, I think maybe one of them I was like a point away, whatever. <laughs> but you know, we were always close matches. And uh yeah, I thought the season did go quite well. Uh the grand final 
I mean, obviously, Carl choked so hard, and I, you know, I didn't, and I played my game and got the points gap that I always like to have. So it was nice that I could do that. But yeah, no, I was happy winning it, of course. Loved it. Yeah, talking about the grand final, you talking about Carl Jr. choking and you getting a sort of point lead. What goes through your head as you see that happening? Are you getting more and more confident about you winning it? Or is it each round is the same as the first round? No, like, obviously, okay, basically for me, if I ever win, like, three rounds in a row, I don't know why, but that's when I start to get more nervous. My hands start to shake. So that that's when that's when I'm nervous. Like, when I'm winning consecutively, that's when I start to think, oh, God, I'm actually doing pretty well here. <laughs> but when I when I saw the 30-point gap, I, I felt comfortable. I wasn't, I was like, well, there's no point crashing now. I'll just keep playing safe and get the six points like it doesn't really matter because they're gonna battle it out for first each time so whoever gets first doesn't really matter because it's gonna change each time uh the point where i realized carl was choking a lot was around map three because map three is when he turns around and when he wins everything but he didn't do that during uh this grand final so that's when i thought hmm He's not coming back anymore because that's when he turns it around. So I felt really comfortable then. Only only until the last map when Massa started coming back a bit and like there was that four minute was it four minute pause? Yeah, four minute four minutes yeah, that was timeout. Good yeah. So that that was a bit like, oh my god, I'm gonna do it in the next round because I'm now slightly annoyed that there's been four minutes paused <laughs> and like I, I just feel ready to win now. Because I can't be bothered to just like it can't have it can't I can't lose this next round basically, and then I, when it came to the final turn and I was with Carl, I knew either he won't make the finish or I had the speed to beat him, and I I knew I I was just creeping like you could see on his stream my car you can see my wheels in front of him before like right in the air in the last jump, and I realized that he wasn't going to make it as well, so <laughs> I kind of I knew like just in that last jump that I was going to win, but it was. It was a close round, yeah. scary one. And talking about the tactical timeout, we saw two people using it uh, after each other. So we had a four-minute uh, break, as you said. What is your sort of uh, feedback on it? Do you like it, or should we remove it and leave it with a season two? I like it. You know, it can it can calm your nerves and it can give you the rest that you need. Like if you need to go somewhere, like if you think your hands need a wash and they're a bit sweaty from playing all this time, then you know. Just, just to refocus yourself, like, you know, it gives you that time to do it. Maybe set a rule that you can't put one after the other, maybe? I don't know. <laughs> that would be a good one, but, I mean, it's tactical, so that's the whole idea, so I wouldn't say change it. I like it. Yeah. And um, my last question bef- uh, before we start uh, talking about Season 3, do you feel like you were the best player in Season 2? No. Who Carl do you feel was the best about? player. Easily. Just because he was just so fast every time. Like, we... We we compared our um, stats throughout the whole time. Like he had two fastest times. I had two fastest times during the league. Uh, but his, I don't know, his best map in the league phase was considerably better than my best map because like he felt it. Like, but when it came to the final map pack, like the MD point one was like my equivalent of his rower map. Like it, it just like it suited me so well. His map suited him well. I say playoff wise. It was just between me and him the whole way. But in terms of the league, yeah, it was him. But, I mean, definitely only him because we were the only people to clear 30 points. So I think that's that's definitely a safe one there to say him. Yeah, uh, and Season 3 is coming up. Do you see this season playing out differently than Season 2? And if so, which other contenders are going to battle it out? Um... I don't know, to be honest. <laughs> I think, yeah, it's like with, with these kind of events, like tech tournaments, like, I can, I've got to be honest, I can't see anyone else. Unless me and Carl, like really, like we, if we choke, like when I lost to Troll, when I lost to Massa, like, and even in GA when I lost to Spam, like if if we have a bad match, I think that's the only time when me or him are going to be beaten. I think no one else is quite 
close enough. The only person I'd say is Massa on a good day. Uh, and then even then, I, there's no there's no one else in my opinion. Like everyone else is sort of dropping off, not dropping off, but like it's just not as high a level yeah. as what me and Carl have. But more so, I think Carl is 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 really sick. But you know, I, I just I don't see like there's no other names where they're like, oh my god, like they're they're as sick as Carl and him. Like I just think. No one else is really compares at the moment. Who's going to win season three and be the two-time winner of Chuck Mayer Pro League because Carl Jr. won season one and you won season two. Who is going to win season three? Oh, that's a tough one. <laughs> uh, 50-50 or? Uh, yeah, it's, it's 50-50. Like, yeah, it, it's always so close to call. Hopefully me. But <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 50-50. And yeah, there are not... Uh... There are some rumors about a potential offline playoffs. How much does that motivate you? Does that give the uh, extra edge, or doesn't that matter at all? Just the cash prize is already motivated. Uh, just knowing <laughs> it already, like yeah. Uh, yeah, being on LAN, if it happens, that'd be amazing. Oh my god! But like, just just it it just makes it so much better. Like, there's an atmosphere around it. Like, it's not just on stream. Like, you don't go, oh, you know, like you don't say to Carl, oh my god, how many viewers did you have at the end of the stream? And it's like. You know, you got actually people in front of you. There's a yeah. bit of hype. Yeah, I, I, I'd love it if it was a LAN. And then, yeah, it'd just make it so much cooler. Is Trackmania Pro League the most prestigious event in Trackmania at the moment, or what other event could beat it? Um, tech-wise, yeah, Pro League, Gamers Assembly, them two are probably the big, big ones. Uh, prestigious, like fame-wise would be Zerata, obviously. What event does matter the most for you, fame or the prestigious sort of tech events? Oh, I'd rather be known as the best tech driver. Couldn't, yeah. couldn't actually care less about the fame one. But I, I'd love to podium it, for sure. Like That would be amazing if I could. But uh, yeah, the main ones I like, I like, I'd like to be known as the fastest. Yeah. And talking about uh, Gamers Assembly, you won this year in 2018. It was your first attempt as well, I believe, and you won in front of Mazda and Omnipods. Yeah. How was the experience going to Gamers Assembly, and how did it feel winning it all? Oh, getting there was horrible. Like, <laughs> Why? Just late plane, late bus, and then I almost missed the last train like Scotsman. So <laughs> that was that was a nightmare. Got there so late. Uh, had a meal at like half 12 at night. But the atmosphere, like my team... Gamers Origin, honestly, it's such a family orientated team. Like, I got there and everyone was like waiting with me for. They had like KFC ready for me. Like they left at spare and everything. And like having my own PC there, like it was like it was like a spaceship. It was ridiculous this PC. And then like just being with all the people that you play with, like on a regular kind of basis, it's quite cool to see them in person and then just have chats here and there and. Yeah, I, I like I love the atmosphere of a LAN. It's really cool. If you take us through the event, sort of uh, matches wise, how do you would you describe your performance? Was there any good ones, or was the overall tournament the same as every match? Uh, no, well, no. Worst match was the first one. Uh, <laughs> that was horrible. Uh, I thought I could get it back after losing so many rounds, but like I don't know. I think I lost con- concentration from like the first from seeing the people I was playing. I thought. You know, it's 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 one where for me personally, I'm not giving any like shit to the other people, but like for me, it, it felt like a match I could get through without, you know, giving too much thought to yeah. it. And um, yeah, Tim just crushed it there, really. And uh, my best match probably the semi, well, no, grand final obviously, but semi semi winner bracket semis. I don't know. It was against the uh, Omnipots, Massa, and tween or kappa and that one was like seriously close i think it was two finalists yeah, yeah, yeah everyone was like 90 points it was that was ridiculously close and that was that was a really fun and tense one i thought but yeah getting through to the final quite comfortably with the 10 point lead like that's it, that's what i wanted as soon as as soon as i won like was it was it, did i win the first two no i won the first round and the third round in the final i thought yeah i've got my point gap that i want that's all I need, and then I just cruise it from there on. 
Yeah, because the grand final, I believe, in the stream and atmosphere was sort of like, okay, he has won it, let's see who battles out for third place, because you were pretty far ahead of Massa, even though we had some attempts of beating you, and the real battle was for the third place. How did you yeah. see the other finals finalists going against you in the final? Did you think they could beat you, or if you perform normally, you would beat them? Well, like with Kappa, I mean, the entire event, we like everyone was thinking, right, at one point, he's, he's going to step up. He's going he's gonna to be back to his old ways. He's going to step up. So when, throughout the whole tournament, like because he didn't do that yet, I thought, okay, there's a chance in the final that he could give me a bit of a challenge. Yeah. So I thought, okay, master the entire tournament. Like He's got like some of the fastest... Well, he had all the second fastest times. And um, like he was huge favorite coming in by every like everyone and i thought well if people have watched this stream you know he might have done some decent runs here and there so it could be you know quite challenging to beat him in the final and then omnipot's like he could surprise up as well so like you have all these doubts in the in the final but because you think in all this event like you're you haven't had as much time to train as everyone else um and you know they they could just put it out out of the bag in the final so i thought oh that, that it could be a bit worrying but I got onto the stage, I was so relaxed, I thought, you know, it's, it could go. This is going to be a good one to win, and I wanted to win a trophy. And yeah, <laughs> you know, it, it just went how I wanted it to go, basically. Yeah, uh, let's move over to, uh, or before that, uh, other than the matches, do you have any highlights from the Gamers Assembly? Because at offline events, you meet people from that you play with together on streams and such on online. Do you have any oh. f favorite moments from actually meeting the people from Jackmania? Favorite moments: bowling at the end with all the guys in Tim's vlog. Uh, meeting Tim again that was great. Uh, meeting uh, Scotsman that was yeah. good. Um, Gamers Origin guys, they they they're a sick team to be in. Like the the TM players, that was great to meet them. And then. I've, one memorable moment is definitely after winning that final round, seeing the gamers' origin banner at the back of the uh, back of like all the people watching, yeah. like, back of the crowd, looking up, seeing that everyone going mental. <laughs> My the 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 director of esports just running round the floor, going <laughs> absolutely crazy, and yeah, that was just ridiculous. And like having interviews on the gamers' origin team like yeah. site that was that was so cool just just all of that part like they just made it seem so much better like when you have a team like supporting you like and they don't even know who you are yet because you're so new to the team but like they they're wanting you to win so badly like that's cool that that's what i thought was really nice about the event and the gamers assembly 2018 was a pretty good event for gamers origin you winning the tech event and papu winning the third event so it's a pretty yeah. good the first offline event for gamers origin yeah, yeah, it was it was really good, yeah. <laughs> but Gamers Assembly was not your first offline event win. You won the Man Plant World Cup in 2016. Many talked about having many have talked about that event with more negativity than positivity. I remember that I did a written interview with you before that event and you were unsure if you would feel like an official world champion if you won it. Now that you look back at it uh, two years, do you feel like that was like winning a world championship? Now, yeah, now I do because because I've maintained sort of a winning mentality and like people see me as like a really fast player. Like it yeah. does feel like it, w it was like a a world kind of win because I've sort of become a like one like I, I don't know a great player. <laughs> yeah, that's like, safe to say, no. <laughs> and uh, like that's what makes it feel like a win. Like at the time, because of the final being in such poor conditions and like the whole event itself was like just in a shop, like at the time, definitely not. But now that, you know, I've won two more big things, let's say big, but you know, yeah, it's the biggest thing in track. Mania, no? Yeah, it's good. It, it, it makes me feel like I, I did win something great now. Yeah. Do you think that event was sort of like, if you look back at it from 10 years, then we can say that that was the moment you overtook Call or at least challenging really definitely good? Not. Definitely, definitely not. Why? Definitely not, because like, there's no, that like, he played in the, he plays 
in completely different like monitor capabilities. Like he had a 120 hertz monitor. We played the entire event on 120 hertz monitors. He crushed me in the winner bracket final, and then in the final he has to play on a 60 hertz monitor, which is completely different to 120. So. Yeah, no way was that the moment I thought, oh, yeah, I'm better than Carl. It's the moment where I thought, yeah, I can challenge him. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And then from then on, like, even even before the event, me and Carl, like, Carl always spoke to me as, like, yeah, I'm the next person to, like, challenge him, and, like, we're quite, we're quite close. And then, uh, f- like, a year, like, from then on, uh, he was, like, we, we both said, like, we're equal. And, like, that's just how it's been ever since. Like, we always say that we're pretty similar. Do you hope that we see a Mania Plant World Cup 2018, or do you rather see another another event to, to replacing see, that? I hope we see just a World Cup. I mean, okay. something to do with the world. I mean, like <laughs> we need something like that. Yes, yeah, so is have... good, but it would be nice to have something like which has something like a bit more recognition as a world thing, like a World Cup rather than a. A, cup. a good place to showcase your game and showcase the player that's actually best in the game. Yeah. Basically, you have any favorite places to travel to? If you could pick like a dream country to play in, would it be Paris or would it be somewhere else? Oh, God knows. I haven't ever done much traveling, so I haven't really got a clue. Anywhere <laughs> in the world for me, traveling is just great. Yeah. China, maybe. World Cyber Games returns. I don't know. China, if it's <laughs> in a nice place in China for sure, but I don't really know. Yeah. Uh, let's move over to another topic. In 2018, we also saw that uh, Team Expert left Checkmania and Gamers Origin joining. Can you take us through how you felt when Team Expert left and how was the process of finding a new home in Gamers Origin? Ah, it was easy for me. I mean, Softy's been after me for years. Other, <laughs> teams, other teams have been after me for a while. I mean, I wasn't too worried. I already had. I already started talking to Softy and I thought, you know, there could be something going on here. And then the whole thing with Team Expert, like I wasn't really ever involved with like the manager of it all. So I just, I was like a backseat driver, basically. I just turned up, won the things I needed to, like made sure I was, you know, keeping the team going with like how well I was playing. And then, um, yeah, I just turned up to events when I, when I was needed. Oh. Uh, obviously the team were great. Like I loved everyone in the TM team. That was like the main part, but I didn't really, I didn't talk to anyone in management. Whereas Gamers Origin, it's like, it's slightly different. Like, uh, you talk to Softy, he's in direct contact to this guy who's extremely enthusiastic about everything that goes on. So it sort of helps out with that side. You know, the team's like really supporting you. And that it, I don't know, it's quite, it, for me, it's it quite simple to find that team. But obviously, if you're going to branch out from a team which isn't already in the game, like, that's so much harder to do like just with what uh spam's going through like it's it's such like so much more of a challenge if it's like obviously tm's such a small game and then you're trying to contact all these other teams and they don't know what's going on and everything like that and they won't sort of like reply and all that sort of stuff so i'm just happy that i could find something quite simple and easily whereas if i if i didn't know like softy was doing something then i wouldn't I found anything so is it safe yeah. to say that you're happier in the situation you're at the moment than in expert because you're closer to the leader or is it different no it's just different like you know games origin have got like these really enthusiastic people that like yeah. are gonna push it, everything they can do towards it whereas and to be fair like i mean games origin i can do whatever i want i could like i'm still constantly talking to the guys that were an expert, I'm still constantly talking to Carl. Like it just, I'm, I've got all the friends in the game still, and I just have backing from a team that sponsors me. Like it's just perfect, really. Yeah. Uh, and as we talked about before, the team cup is going on at the moment, and you're playing for a mixed team. Will we see you playing for Gamers Origin in upcoming team events, or would we see you joining sort of mixed teams where people with no team is joining together? Not Gamers Origin. What is the next event that Gamers Origin is going to play together? Uh, KOTT, Knockout Team Tournament. And how is that going to go? Well, you know, going to try and win. <laughs> I mean, obviously, you got to go for the best. So, yeah. 
yeah, we do we do have a good team in that. Obviously, our team is Gamers Origin plus Canada. So obviously, we've got Carl in the team. So me and him are going to try and light up the uh, tournament. And yeah, we've got Coco and uh, Cappuccino backing us up. So, well, I mean, backing us up, I mean, Coco is fast as hell, and then Cap is going to join in all the time. So, I mean, we've got everything we need, basically, to try and, you know, have a challenge against uh, Massa, Nugget, and Spam. So, we'll see what we can do. Do you like the format of uh, Knockout Team Tournament? Didn't play it last time, but, I mean, yeah, win the rounds and you stay in, in the cup. Like, it, it seems pretty, pretty good to me. I like to win rounds. So, yeah. show off some world records in matches oh god no none of this I mean the times are insane yeah. already so I don't think that's going to be happening sadly uh, my last topic before we close the show is something that happened a while ago uh, when you moved from Canyon into the tech scene can you tell us how did you end up playing Canyon in the first place and how did you decide moving more and more over to stadium Ah, oh, Canyon was like, so basically I was really into like the ladder points and all that stuff. And I knew when a new game comes out, like you start at the very beginning. So I got Canyon straight away and I was like, yeah, I'm going to get my ladder points up and be like seen <laughs> as one of the best. And I, I got, got to learn in the game pretty quickly. So like I got all the way to rank four and I was like, oh my God, I'm amazing. This is, this is insane. What am I doing? Like I'm only like <laughs> what, 15 I, this is crazy. I'm like one of the best in the world. And then I stopped playing it for ages. And I, I tried to give a go at tech because I knew it was, it was still reasonably big back then. And like that's what all the recognition you get for is like playing tech. So I thought I'll give it a go. And I did a really fast time on a on a TMM track. And it was like it was like top thirteen deady and I was like, Oh, this is this is where I'm going. This is great. <laughs> uh but then I got called up to go back to canyon because this guy knew i was really good so i started playing canyon again kept getting better and better and then i got good right at the end of when the zotac weekly cups sort of ended so that wasn't very great but like i was like uh i had the eswc and all that go by and then i was i was challenging clovny and onio and then i sort of like surpassed them and like every time I play a track, I get a world record. Every time I play a track, I'll be like point one in front of the second daddy. Like it was just really like easy to do. So I thought, well, if I'm just so good in this racing, what game? Like try and move over to another title. So I thought I'd try stadium again. So I begged this guy in fun team if I could join, and he was like, "Yeah, you're British. I'm British. You know, come back to the team." <laughs> so I did that, and. Uh... Yeah, I was using the frost fuel sensitivity and all that. I was like, I was like talking to the M and M guys. Like, I don't know what's going wrong here, but I can't feel my car turning. Like, it's so like, unsensitive. And they're like, oh, well, you know, change it a bit. And I was like, I never knew you could change the sensitivity of your controller. Like, I was just like mind blowing. What's going on here? And <laughs> I changed it to my current settings, which is like one point two and zero point zero five, all that stuff. And uh, I could feel the car turn. I was like, oh, my God, this is insane. Like, what is going on? I know where I'm going to be putting the car and stuff. I pulled out some, like, I was consistently doing times at one point, And it was just like, whoa, this is, this is like, looking good for me. And then it came to ESL Collide. And I basically, I, was, I wouldn't say carried, because me and Nevermind were, were doing it together here. But we beat uh, Frostbill in the 3v3. I had the most points and like, I got seen by BX3 and they were trying, they, they were talking to me and then I started to like play on public servers and I was with somehow like the Dignitas guys and um, like Bergy started to talk to me and uh, then like offered me my place in Dignitas and then sort of I had to choose between BX3 and Dignitas and obviously chose the one that I thought would get me a bit further with the game. And yeah, after three months of playing stadium properly, huh. I got straight into a trial with Dignitas and that's where it all sort of kicked off for me. Oh, that's so crazy. Do you believe that you have sort of, I don't know, sort of a special talent for racing game because you achieved something great in both Canon and stadium? Yeah, to be honest, I love racing games. Like it's always <laughs> been my thing. I just, 
as a kid, my mates would always come around. If we play a racing game, like, I'd just, I'd just rock on it, like, and things like that. We we always used to play games, and like, I'd start a lap behind, and like, still win, because I could drive them pretty sick. Like, it was just, it was always as a kid that racing games were my thing, and now being like, in the top like three of this game, like, it's just it's so cool, just to be able to be like that. Uh, my last question: uh, How long do you think that you will play Trackmania? How do you see the future playing out? I don't see me ever stopping. Like you, you know, you don't have to play it competitively all the time. I can, I can just join a public server and chill. Like I, I could play it for like the next ten, fifteen years. But like competitively, as soon as the money stops going into it, like that's when I'll stop. But yeah. when it's like to play it chilled, I, like as in like every month do it like an hour or two like i i can see me doing that for a while so like karen is doing at the moment just hunting and checking in nations forever yeah like why not i mean it's, it's not hard to do and it's like not even time consuming so yeah yeah and uh, that's it for me i guess uh, is there any topics event matches and so up so on you want to bring up before we close the show oh Any final words, maybe, for some people that you want to give a shout out to? Nah, nah. One thing I've always thought that is like I'd love to have a match, like a one v one v one v one, of like me, Carl, Karyan, and just another like really top tier player, just to like finally battle it out to see like a who's like an all time great, Ooh, like a dream match. Yeah, like a dream match. Like, but it wouldn't be like a first or hundred points sort of thing. It'd be like two hundred different maps that we all choose like that would be sick but like that's ever going to happen but that's like a cool thing for me yeah it's a good that, dream to have no shout outs all that stuff <laughs> it's been a great interview and i'm yeah. glad you've had me around like it's been it's it's lasted a lot longer than i thought it would yeah you were talking before we had it in you that <laughs> it's going to be the shortest interview ever but for sure not yeah, it's been a good time reason, and... it's, it's, it's been a long one it's been i don't know why i've made it this long okay so... and that's the reason why I mean, if anyone, if anyone's made it this far, please follow me. <laughs> It's in the link below. <laughs> yeah. That's guys, it. <laughs> yeah, make sure to watch the grand final of the Trackmania Masters Team Cup 2018 this Sunday between Mixed Team and Venture. I think it will be a good one, a potential match of the year. And I will see you next time. Pac, I will let you have the final word. Uh, cheers, guys, for watching if you've made it this far. And yeah, uh, go watch the final and see me try and win every round. Peace. <laughs> There we have it. <laughs> bye bye, guys. See you guys.